And welcome to Happy Friday, where this week we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Apple App Store. The store was first released on July the 10th, 2008, with just 500 apps at launch. If you compare that to now, it shows just how much it's actually grown. So when it was first launched, it was revolutionary. So previous to that, all you could do with a so-called smartphone um, was probably take some pictures, actually make phone calls and inbuilt things like Snake. Um, the introduction of the App Store meant that external developers could then build apps that you could download and install and it really did transform the whole smartphone market. We'd come up with a few milestones of the App Store itself. So the first one was the introduction of the actual app charts which most people use to find apps if people don't tell them about them. That and search, of course. Um, although the App Store launched in July, the charts didn't appear till December. In June in 2009, what they did was introduce in-app purchases. Initially, you were only had those um, apps that you'd bought, but as we've seen, uh, there's been a big shift to the model of the freemium apps where you download the app for free and then pay for sort of in-app upgrades or subscriptions, those kinds of things. That's really moved on. Um, again, that's a completely different business model. It's a huge milestone in the App Store's history. 2010, the first iPad was launched. So again, that made it, there was a change to the App Store. So as well as iPhone apps, there were iPad apps and universal apps which worked across both platforms. Milestone is in a slightly different area. So having seen the success of the App Store for iPhone and iPad, in January 2011 they decided to open an App Store for Macs, so MacBooks and all the different Mac devices really. When the Apple Mac Store was first launched in its first day alone, it had over 1 million downloads. So there was already that momentum built with the iPhone and iPad. People understood what apps were. Forward now to June 2015, there was a big change, especially on phones. This was when iOS 5 was released that had a completely new look. But one of the big things regarding apps was automatic updates. Previously, you had to find your apps and manually update things. Most people now just have auto updates on. So again, quite a nice little change was that one. Again, staying in 2015, in October that year, the Apple Watch and Apple TV were also launched. So 2015 was quite a busy year for Apple. And when they were launched, again, they had their own app stores. Um, as lots of people have seen with the Apple Watch, then there's associated apps. So if you're a runner and use something like Strava, yes, you've got things on your iPhone. You can use your Apple Watch to track those runs. So it's a really good where these apps work between all these different platforms and app stores. So finally with this, then I just thought I'd say, where are we now with the app store? So looking at the original iOS app store, there's now more than 2.2 million apps on there and there have been over 130 billion downloads. So yes, apps are pretty popular. So it just leaves me to say happy 10th birthday Apple App Store. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it, leave us some comments and if you want to see more of these every single Friday morning then just subscribe to the channel. So that's it and see you next week.